Welcome once again to this YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to address a question I got from one of my viewers. And the question was someone converted uh, information from a picture to Google Sheet and it came up in this format. But the format that the person wanted was it should have been in the format of the date. You see, this is the date, should come here. The next one is the name, which should appear there, and the amount in this column. This is my date, the name, amount. Date, name, amount. That is how the data is arranged. So you could come across such a scenario, and the question will be, how do I change this format of data into this here. It has one column, but I want it to be formatted or changed into three columns. So I'm going to show you how we can go about it. And this is the one of the ways. If you have other ways, you could share with me. Now, as you see, uh, the date one, I'm going to give date one, then name two and amount three. Then everything that relates to the date, I'm gonna give it one, then name two, then amount three. So what I'm gonna do then, is I'm going to copy this because it is repeating. I copy it all away down. right here, control V, and there you go. So my date will always be one, my name two, and the amount three. So having done that, the next thing I'm gonna do is, let's remove this here. I'm going to put the one, then the two, then the three. So I'm going to think of a function, which is going to pick all the ones and load them in this column, pick all the twos and load them in this second column and pick all the threes and load them in the third column. So what I can think of is the filter function, which takes a range, and my range will be that one there. I have to lock it, comma. Then the next argument is the condition. So I'm gonna say values in this second column here should equal to the value I have on top here. So I close my brackets and press enter. And when you do that, you're gonna observe that this date now is in this column, this date is in that column, and it appears to be working fine. So all I have to do next is highlight this and copy it across using Control R. So when you do that, you can see all the names. My first name is John here. My next name is Peter that comes here and Mary right there. And the amounts we have for 50, 500 and 300 right there. So in quick steps, this is how you can achieve that. And of course, after transforming your data, you can use a special paste, remove the formula right there, code, copy values only. So in this case, when I remove that and also remove this, my data is converted. So this is a quick way of how you can convert a column data into three rows, columns of data. Hope this has been helpful. If you have a better way of doing this, please share with me and I'll have to look at it. And as always, 
If you have a challenge, you can ask me any question in Google Sheet or Excel, and I'll have to take a look at see whether I can help. Otherwise, thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe and see you in the next video. Share, like this video if you have found it helpful and have a great day.